In this lesson, I want to give you a quick tour of the back end of Joomla. As I mentioned in a previous video, I'm not going to go into all the details about the different functionalities that it has to offer, but just so you get familiarized with where things are located. Uh, the first thing you notice here, this is the systems deals with the core of your site. Now this is, you don't, you don't want to uh, give just anyone access to this because this is where your database stuff is located, uh, your global configuration. So someone can come here, uh, the wrong person have access to it, they can change some things and they can just, you know, mess up your entire site. This is where you have to clear, clear cache and your global check-in and your system information. And the next tab, you have the users tab. This is where you can create access control levels. You can be able to, you know, add users. You can create groups. You can delete users. You can block. Uh, there are different things you can do. You can also create notes for user groups for each user, and you can do a mass mail. And then you have the menus here. The menus, this is what you create for uh, the front end of your website. So your home, about, services, or whatever pages that you want to be part of your website. This is where you come to create the menus for it. And one you know, cool thing too about the menus is that you can create menus for certain pages. In other words, if you want to give a certain group of users access to certain pages but not the general public, you can be able to create menus here that you block out some content or certain pages that not everyone is able to see that unless they either you know create an account, uh, become part of your website before they're able to see that menu. And then of course you have the content here. This is the articles or the web pages where you create your pages and you can also manage your media. And then components, you have the you know extensions that you can install to extend your website. I wish I'm gonna go over that, you know in upcoming lesson. Then this we have extensions. This is where you can manage your modules, your plugins, uh, your components, your languages. And then you can also do your install through that. And of course you have the help menu here. So if you notice right now, you have, this says uh, Joomla 3.0, is available. You can click on update now. And then if you look at the very bottom here, this is Joomla 3.48 version. Now the reason why uh, I don't always I don't recommend that you immediately um, just update your site first is because you have to wait until you have to make sure that if you're going to update first you have to create a backup of your website uh, but if you're going to do so you have to make sure that all the extensions on your site are going to be compatible with the you know version that you're updating to so if you update into a version and the extension is not compatible you're going to notice that your site have a lot of issues and breaks and you know css and javascripts and, and things like this so you definitely want to make sure that whatever extension that you're using is compatible with the new version which we're going to talk a little bit about that later so then you have your front end here and it's very bare, very basic. There's nothing on the page that gives you a lot of flexibility. So that's really great because we're starting with a blank canvas and we're going to build uh, a hotel booking website from, you know, pretty much from the ground up. So let's move on to the next lesson.